the most important thing out of all of this obviously is the drone. It is seriously a beautiful day out there. When I took Paris out this morning, I was just like, oh, it feels like spring, the sun is shining, it's so warm. I don't know what it is. I feel like it's probably 50 degrees out there. Yes, it feels like spring. Yes, it does. So Corbin has left. He is at the office for a few hours today. I really wanted to go to a store while Corbin was at work, but we'll see if I have time because I have to do something else first. Here is the setup for my project I'm doing today. Let you see all the things. But in order to find out what I'm doing, you're gonna have to watch next week's Little Wonders episode on Baby League. I'm super excited about this project. It's something I've been wanting to do for a while, and I hope it turns out. I think I'm gonna make some Valentine's Day snickerdoodle cookies. So basically just pink snickerdoodle cookies because they're Corbin's favorite and I just really want to surprise him while he's at work because he's been working so hard and he's just been so amazing this whole pregnancy and just all the time I'm just like I just want to do something to show him that I love him and also Valentine's Day is coming up so Corbin just called and said he's on his way home from work and I literally just started so hopefully I can get these done Speedy quick. Welcome home, my love. Thank you, my love. Do you like your surprise? Yeah, these are really good. Valentine's snickerdoodle. Yeah. Mm, thank you. Oh. Look at um, <laughs> these groceries. <laughs> Had to take the cart up, huh? On my grocery cart. At work, the office staff held a little baby shower thing for me today, my love. Okay. And they got us a present. Oh. Do you want to see it? Yeah. It's really cool. Oh, our little bib. I know. They're, They're so from our registry. Yeah. Oh, and the little baby socks. The little socks are so freaking cute. They're so cute. Oh yay, we have some swaddles. I know. Look how cute these ones are. I want to practice. And then <laughs> little socks. Some more little socks. I think that's oh yeah. And Can then, then the there's one should be one more bib. Oh yeah, one more bib. Look at the bikes. I know, that one's my favorite. <laughs> it's National Pizza Day! <laughs> <laughs> so we had to get pizza. Our favorite pizza is the Gold Ring at Sizzle Pie, and if there's a holiday for pizza, we're gonna freaking celebrate it because we love pizza. Thank you, my love, for ordering it. You're welcome. And they delivered, too. I uh, know. That's a treat. We, like, never get pizza delivered. Kelsey has packed her hospital bag, but if you noticed, there are some key things missing from it. Mainly the cameras and all of the technology that we're gonna need to vlog the birth So I'm gonna show you what I am putting in my hospital bag that I will grab before we head out the door When Kelsey starts going into labor, so I've laid out all my items on the table The most important thing out of all of this obviously is the drone Gotta get those hospital room drone shots of the birth. I'm just kidding you guys. I'm not taking the drone, but that would be pretty epic. Um, I'm pretty sure Kelsey would probably cut off my head though if I launched a drone in the hospital room while she was giving birth. So some words of advice, do not take the drone to the hospital. Okay, so this is actually what I'm bringing in my hospital bag. I am packing in my drone bag. It's the Manfrotto Phantom 4 drone bag. With the drone and the drone accessories out of it, it's actually a pretty big bag and it'll fit all of my stuff. So to begin with, we have the cameras. I'm gonna be using quite a few cameras. I have the camera that I'm vlogging on now, which is the G7X Mark II. I have the Canon G9X, the Canon G7X, and a GoPro. I don't think I'm gonna use all of them, but I just wanna have some backups just in case. I don't know, and then I wanna backup to the backup. This is a huge deal and I don't wanna miss it. So 
I feel like I can never have enough cameras or backups and redundancy. And starting from the top of the table down, so we have the Gorillapod that I can use either on the GoPro or any of these two cameras so that I can set this up and just leave it and forget about it. I have chargers right here, got phone charger, GoPro charger, uh, hard drive cords, all the cords that I'm gonna need. That's where those are. I have a laptop charger, my laptop so that I can edit the video while in the hospital in case it's a multiple day um, labor. I have the camera battery charger. I've got my headphones so that I don't bother anyone. Don't bother Kelsey. I don't bother June um, when I'm editing the videos. I have a, I'm bringing this just in case, a Rode uh, smart love microphone. I don't know if we're gonna need it. I don't know if we're gonna be shooting like sit down videos, but it's just gonna be nice to have in case we do need it. Um, I have redundancy of two phones. I have my main phone and then this phone isn't hooked up, but it would mostly just be for like if this phone dies or breaks. I don't know. My phone's pretty old. It's the iPhone 6 and it gets pretty wonky with the battery. So I'm just gonna have a backup just in case so I can still like tweet and send messages to people. Um, these are my two hard drives. This is a two terabyte Seagate Slim. And this is the backup for this hard drive, which is my main hard drive that I use um, every day and to edit off of. This is the hard drive I actually used throughout our entire van trip and I use to edit all of our vlogs. And it has a, um, a Thunderbolt connection. So it's really good for video editing. It's really fast data transfer. And then this is just a USB. So it's mostly for archiving and to clear space off of this. Um, I have a lens cloth. Never know when you're gonna get a little smudge on the lens, so got that just in case. And then I have GoPro battery. There's one in it, so I have two GoPro batteries. I have two Canon batteries. I'm gonna order more off Amazon because I don't think that's gonna be enough. And then I have my SD cards. I have my car seat manual. Car seat manual is a huge must because I've gone through it a couple times to install the car seat. And we don't have a car, so I don't have just like the quick connect basin. So we're gonna have to install the car seat. I think it's just gonna be good to have at the hospital just in case I forget or I need to reference it for something. As far as clothes go, I'm really just bringing a t-shirt, uh, some gym shorts, a pair of underwear, and a pair of socks. And that's it. I'm just gonna wear the pants that I'm wearing there. And um, as long as I have an extra pair of underwear and socks and a shirt, I think I'm gonna be good. As far as toiletry goes, these are all toiletries that I don't use. They're mainly just for, I, we actually bought miniature for the birth. So I have like a small deodorant, an extra toothbrush, contact case, mouthwash. Um, there's toothpaste in Kelsey's kit. So we'll just show toothpaste. And then I have my stress relief rescue remedy tincture here. I don't know, it might be really stressful. It's probably gonna be really stressful and um, I'm gonna be able to use that in the stressful situations and so will Kelsey probably. So just bringing that. And then last is the tripod that will supplement my gorilla pod so that way I can have two cameras set up and I'll leave them unattended if I want to or need to. That is basically it. Oh, and the camera that I'm vlogging with right now. So I have really like four cameras that I'm taking so I think I think we're good on the cameras. But this is what, this is all I'm bringing to the hospital. I think in the modern day and age, uh, I was looking for like a dad hospital bag video and I couldn't find any. And um, just keeping everything together, all the tech and like the cameras and laptops, I think that's like a huge um, thing when you're going to the hospital because you don't want it to be scrambling around the house, like gathering everything as she's in labor. So. I'm just gonna pack it all up and then as I need stuff, I'm just gonna pull it out and put it back in. Uh, but I'm gonna keep it all in here since we are just one month away from the due date. So that is what I'm bringing. Tell me what you guys think. Tell me if you think I'm forgetting anything. Give me a thumbs up if you think I'm good. Comment below of what you think I'm forgetting. All right, we're gonna read June a story, um, but we finished the boxes. We finished felting the bottom. We felted the bottom because there was like stuff falling off of them. Um, it seems like they're working pretty good, but I'll, some of you had some suggestions. One of the suggestions I think I might try is to like uh, kind of pound them on the ground, shake off like all the loose stuff and then um, hairspray the outsides so it gets like stiff and sticks all the lint 
to the basket itself. So that was a pretty good idea. So I might try that. Um, just take them outside so that none of the fumes get in here. But they look pretty good. I chose this one. Who got, got us this one? Oh. Dear Juniper, we cannot wait to meet your beautiful face. Remember, whoever you may become, you are loved. The wonderful things you will be. When I look at you and you look at me, I wonder what wonderful things you will be. When you were too small to tell me hello, I knew you were someone I'd love. discover all there is to see and become anybody that you'd like to be. That's a good book. Yeah, The Office from Portland. There's a lot of children book authors here <laughs> in Portland. That's funny. That's really cool. But we're going to go ahead and end the vlog. So thumbs up if you like this video and be sure to subscribe because we put out new videos every day. You can subscribe right there by clicking the little circle with our faces on it and be where your feet are. Bye.